Tackle Junkies, what's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how I built this dolly for my Pelican Bass Raider. I made this a couple weeks ago, but with the heat and uh, one of my trucks breaking down at work, I didn't get a chance to shoot this video until now. But like I said, I'm gonna walk you guys through all the measurements. You guys can build one of these yourself if you have a Bass Raider or a similar boat, or even like a John boat, you can use um, this dolly for it. It's modified a little bit to fit your needs, but I'm gonna strap on a chesty, walk you guys through the measurements. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. All right guys, this is going to be a pretty straightforward build here. We just used two by four stock. These are not treated two by fours. Of course, you can use treated wood. These are not. Picked up a few of these from Home Depot. I want to say I got like 20 bucks invested in wood. Another 40 invested in the wheels and tires. Got the wood from Home Depot. Wheels and tires from Harbor Freight. I had all the hardware, but if you had to buy, you know, the screws and the bolts too, you might be out the door for around, you know, 65, 70 bucks to build this dolly here. And like I said earlier, this one here obviously is built for the Pelican but you can use the same design for other small pontoon boats or little John boats, you know, things like that. But overall guys, the total length here is 51 and a quarter, 51 and a quarter by 20 inches. Okay. Obviously I needed the 51 and a quarter here to accommodate the Pelican here, but I went 20 inches because for one, I thought two foot would have been a little too wide and you know, 16, 18 inches, I thought would have been a little, you know, too small. I like the 20 inches here just because it kind of acts like a kickstand. So I can leave it just like this, you know, on the ground and the grass, wherever, drag the pontoon to it. And once the weight is on it, it'll, you know, ride itself. Again, I thought a shorter one would have been too short, two foot would have been, you know, a little too big. So 20 inches I feel is a happy medium. So overall, like I said, 51 and a quarter by 20 inches. So like I said, 51 and a quarter for the overall length and you'll need two two by fours to that length. 51 and a quarter here and here. Then to join those two by fours, I cut a piece here, which is pocket screwed into these two end pieces here. And this piece here is 13 inches. 13 inches. So the two by fours plus the 13 gives you the total width, again, which is 20, 20 inches. Okay. So you need two at 51 and a quarter and two pieces at 13 inches. From there, you just need another eight pieces at 20 inches. So there's your cut list. Two at 51 and a quarter, two at 13 and eight at 20 inches. Now you didn't really need these two here in the center. You can do without these two here, especially if you want this dolly to be more versatile where you can throw more things on top of it. But I kind of wanted to box in the pontoons. So I did add these two here. So anyways, eight pieces here at 20 inches. Obviously we needed one on either end, okay, to keep the pontoon in place. One here, one here. The rest of these are all just face screwed. I used just some deck screws here, torque bit. These are an inch and five eighths. And I just used a Forrester bit. Gives you a nice flat bottom hole, countersunk the heads and all that. So that's what I used to attach the rest of the two by fours. So like I said, you need two on 
the top here, one on either end. And then of course you need two on the bottom for the feet. Now you could use like a two by six or two by eight down here. Again, I just used all two by four stock and we needed the two underneath to accommodate the size of the bracket here on the wheels. So you got the main two by fours, the little 13 inch pieces there on the end, then the 20 inch pieces here on the top, two on either side of the bottom. And then, like I said, I decided to put these two here to kind of box in the pontoons. And with having these here, let's see, the distance is about 15 and a quarter. And I believe that gave me about an inch and a half play once the pontoons are on here. Next, we added the eye bolts here, one on either side. I don't remember the size of these. I want to say it was like 5 sixteenths by a few inches or so. There's a good amount of thread inside the two by four here, but obviously not enough to where it's going to poke through. So I added one of those on either side. Last up, we have the wheels and tires. Again, these came from Harbor Freight, like 40 bucks out the door. One of the videos I watched, a guy was actually using this exact wheel and tire. So I tried it out as well. So far, so good. I was going to order on Amazon, but a set of wheels and tires on Amazon was like easy two or three times as much as the ones here at Harbor Freight. So we went this route. Like I said, so far, so good. Just use some lag bolts here, some washers. Obviously you want to pre-drill first so you don't crack the wood. And I do believe those are around an inch and a quarter for uh, the lag bolts. And like I said, so far, so good. You can see here, Big Mike is having no issues at all wheeling this boat around, but it's empty. When we loaded everything up from the battery, trolling motor, all our tackle, chairs, everything in the boat, it was a bit heavy. And having the dolly at the end, it worked with all the weight, but we were carrying the weight basically on the other end. So if you move the dolly more to the center, then basically all you're doing when you're pulling or pushing a boat is kind of balancing it. The, the dolly handles all the weight. It's no different when I put this boat on my little red trailer. When I unhook it from my truck, I can wheel it all around just because the wheels are more in the center. I mean, I can do it with one hand, wheel it all around. But like I said, when we had it loaded down and I kept the dolly on the end, it was a bit of a struggle for as far as we were walking with it because we had all the weight of the boat. So if you're gonna wheel it around by itself, at the end is fine. And majority of the videos that you're gonna watch, that's what they're going to do. They're gonna put it right here on the end, show you how easy it works. And it does work easy, very easy. That's why Big Mike's doing it here when there's no weight in it. But like I said, once we loaded it up with another 100 and something pounds of weight, you definitely want that dolly a bit more towards the center so the dolly is carrying the weight, not the guys pulling or pushing the boat. So keep that in mind as well. When we strapped it down, we just used a couple bungees and it worked just fine while the boat was dry. But when it was wet, it slid right off the two by fours. I should have got that on video. We were pulling next thing you know, boats on the ground. So I do recommend one using ratchet straps so it's much tighter to the dolly. I didn't want to put a whole lot of force, you know, going to these handles. Probably what I should have done is just wrapped a ratchet strap all the way around the boat to the eye bolts here. And I would have been fine. That's what I do when I trailer it. But um, I decided just to put a couple bungees to the handle, to the eye bolts. And like I said, when the boat was wet, it did slide right off the two by fours. So I'm either going to use ratchet straps moving forward, which I know for sure that will work. But my other thought was just to get some of this rubber here. This is actually just some liner that I had left over from the inside of my uh, crest liner compartments there. I'm just going to cut a couple strips of this rubber and lay them here on the two by fours and that'll give the boat some grip when it's wet. So a couple options there, use a ratchet strap, or add some rubber. You can even get some of that like stick on, um, they got like stick on like garage door seal or something like that. Just anything to give it some grip here. Well guys, that should wrap it up. 
Very simple design, but it's pretty versatile as well. Like I said, these two by fours here are what kind of make it more like specific for this Pelican. But if you don't add these or you want to make it longer or shorter, you can pretty much use this design for really any small boat, like the Pelican, you know, Aluminum John boat, whatever. I feel this is a pretty solid design. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.